I'm Nicole and today we're going to make a barn quilt but we're not going to hang it on the side of a barn or side of a house we're going to hang it on my bedroom wall um so anyway, come along with me and that's what we're going to do today all right let's get this project started I have this square sign frame board thing I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to lay frog tape on the inner edges like on the flat part white part because I want to stain the rest of the area around it All right, and now I'm going back in with the utility blade and I'm cutting off any excess tape that came up on the part that I, the inner part that I need to stain and I'm just cutting that off. Now I'm going to go in with Early American Stain by rust and I'm going to stain um, the outer frame part of this. And I don't know what this is made out of. It wasn't really, it wasn't real wood. It was, I don't know. It was just, I couldn't even begin to tell you what it is. Um, so the stain turned out a little darker than what I originally planned, which is fine. I have a lot of dark woods in the place that I'm going to put this anyway. Um, but yeah, just know that if you decide to do this project. I did end up having to go back in with a brush in some of these places that the rag just couldn't get to because of um, those corners and the beaded top on it. Um, I figured I would and that's okay. It was just one of those things we had to go back and do. All right, let that dry and then remove your frog tape. I did end up with a spot where the stain had seeped under the frog tape, which is typical of me when I do projects using any type of like painter's tape or frog tape, but that's okay because I'm just going to go back in and paint over it when I finish the barn quilt anyway. So that's okay. Now for what some people probably find to be the hardest part of the project. This is the pattern that I found um, is actually a piece of material that I bought. I'm thinking that that's the pattern I want. Now the great thing about quilt patterns is so many of them are based on straight lines, rectangles, triangles, squares. And if you look at this one, you have three squares that go straight across and three squares that go up and down. So you have essentially nine squares in this one full square panel and we are going to break that down so that we can paint it and that's going to be our pattern today so first of all you want to measure your surface that you're going to be painting i don't measure from the edge of the frame because that's not going to work you want to measure just the surface that you're painting i don't remember what my exact measurements were uh 13 something i believe and i divided it into thirds because remember there's three blocks across and three blocks down so we're going to divide it into thirds both horizontally and vertically because i was working with a square i know that um i ended up having like four and i want to say it was a third um being what each square would need to be and then three of those going across and three of them going down so that's all i'm doing here is i'm taking my ruler and i'm marking like every four and forgive me if i'm off on the measurement i've recorded me actually doing this a few days ago but i believe it was four and a third inches um each way so each block so that's all i'm doing here is i'm marking four and a third all the way across and then i'll do the same thing on the bottom so that i can connect my ruler and draw straight lines and then i will do the same thing working the opposite direction now my ruler wasn't quite long enough to go edge to edge on the inner surface of this so you'll see me improvising a little bit with lines um i was comfortable doing that on my project on yours you may want to find a longer straight edge to measure with um, i'm not going to speed up this part of the process throughout the video simply because um i know some of you people out there who necessarily are not math brained or um who struggle with this type of thing may need to see this in slower time and not sped up so i'm gonna leave it like it is for a moment just for you all to watch how i did that
Now that I have my nine block grid laid out here, it's time to look back at the pattern. And if you look real close there, you can see that each individual block in there is actually subdivided. Um, you can actually draw a lot of diagonal lines that way, or um, see, I'm showing you there at the ruler. There's a diagonal line going that way. You can draw across the top middle and the top uh, two middle blocks. There's another two middle blocks that are diagonal lines, another set of diagonal lines, another set of diagonal lines. Um, and if you break down your pattern like that, then you're just going into each and every one of those little blocks. And most of the blocks you're only dividing in half on the diagonal. So see there I am laying my ruler down. And my ruler didn't want to fit here. So again, I had to do some improvising because I didn't have another really good straight edge. I'm trying to turn it where you can see here. Y'all, the only place I have to work is my kitchen counter. It's the only place I can get this up high enough that you can see it going on. The kids aren't constantly photobombing. So bear with me on this. But um, yeah, we're just going in and we are tracing those lines. I'm going from the outer middle to the top middle and dividing those two blocks in half same diagonal line you could break it down and do each block individually if you wanted to that is perfectly fine um whatever makes sense to your brain but here all you're doing is drawing lines And if you make a mistake, just erase with your pencil and don't worry too much about it because we are going to be painting over it. All right, and now it's time to paint. I'm gonna be using, I think it was blue bonnet and white, just um, those acrylic paints from Walmart, or not white, excuse me, Dolphin Gray. And I'm mixing them together because I have like a blue gray in my room and I'm also gonna be using white and yellow. And I'm just gonna reference my pattern. Everywhere there's similar blocks on that pattern is the way I'm going to paint my blocks. All right, I'm gonna get this thing painted and I'll see you at the end of it. All right, I went back in and I added some patterns to, uh, to the 
squares just to make it look like I use different fabric patterns like in a real quilt. A lot of barn quilts you see actually hanging up on barns, um, they're just plain patterns or at least the ones that I've seen. They don't have like polka dots or flowers or whatever. I had to do something a little bit different because I want to hang this in my bedrooms and I wanted that little extra something to it. But yeah, there you go. That is our pattern all printed and ready to hang on my wall. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and join me in the next few weeks as I have some fall crafts planned as well as making over a dog food bin. So I'll see you later. Bye.